We might have made some bad decisions, boys. So, uh, I might have did a thing, boys. Currently doing my least favorite thing, sitting on the side of the highway, avoiding the monsoon that's currently happening because I don't want the box to get wet and potentially lose stuff on the highway. Love it. All right, boys, so we made it back two hours. And now to unload this, because we got this up here with a forklift, we're now parked extremely close with his Jeep to my truck, which we should have just took the truck, I know, but we wanted to take the Jeep. But we're going to lift it from here into here, I guess, and then onto the ground. together now all right boys hour and a half later something like that it's been going easy we got it back together yes flip that key yeah that's sick odometer what we're riding it in china the bastards all right boys so i've been messing around with this thing for just like two minutes but this thing will on command like even an eco, but I'm gonna put it in sport and it'll on command throttle wheelie. I'll do it right here. What is going on, fellas? It is the next day. I finished buttoning everything up, cleaned up all the wiring, put the number plate on. So, uh, we're gonna get into some single track, I think, today. So I'm gonna switch to the GoPro now. All right, let's try this thing out. Guess, uh, I also is a big hill, so I think it'll be all right, but we'll put it in sport mode. I'm sorry if the camera angle's trash. I'll check it in a minute or so, but you know, the beginning clip is trash. I'll... I'm sorry. But right away, this thing climbs like a beast, like it's throttle wheeling. A bit of throttle wheelie. <laughs> Dude, that alone is worth <laughs> it's worth buying this over a Suron. A Suron does not do that. Oh yeah, suspension feels pretty good. Using that skid plate already. Ooh, it's slippery if this rain. All these wet exposed roots. Like that. That was bad. Yeah, so I'm pretty stoked, man, that I I finally pulled the trigger and bought one of these things. I've been on the fence so long about what I want to do because I mean I'm such a butter, like I, I really only ride two strokes, just you know, I don't know. That's just what I like. I like two-stroke dirt bikes. I never, ever would I think I'd have bought an e-bike. But to be honest, they're getting pretty good nowadays. And the prices are only going up, it seems. Especially for, for used. Jesus, you can buy a new one and use it and still sell it for about the same price. So it's kind of a win-win currently. Ooh, that regen working good at this speed. And that's another thing, right away, I'm gonna buy, um, I'm gonna buy a foot brake kit because obviously that'll be a lot better for me. Fortunately, there's one, there's one for this. It's only like nine, it's on sale right now. It's normally like, I think it was like 170. It's on sale for like 90. It's not in a color I want because I'm gonna do a full build on this eventually too. Cause I got, I can personally do powder coating, so. This winter, I, I suppose, I'll probably strip this thing right down to nothing and powder coat everything, but 
Anyway, for the $90, I'm just gonna buy the damn thing. Because the next cheapest one's like two something. So you you know you really can't complain about that. Ooh, we're already going into mud. Another hill climb. Dude, this thing, like, just rips, dude. They're just power wheeling up the hill, it's crazy. Honestly, between riding this, unfortunately, I've never ridden a Talaria. I, I want to ride one. It seems like the way the frame shape is, I, I probably like that a lot. Because I grab on with my legs a lot, probably more than the average person. So frame design is big for me to be comfortable to be able to squeeze on it, which was one of the complaints I had with the Suron. But, uh, yeah, this thing in, like, eco mode is probably about what a Suron is in sport. It's kind of funny. Pretty sure I took clips. I had my buddy take clips last night, but just ripping it up and down the road. This thing rips in eco. Dude, it just wheelies. Like, right there, wheelie, bump jump, craziness. that but I'm alone I don't want to do dumb things I'll bump up this one <laughs> this thing will get away from you for sure bump up. <laughs> all right I'm gonna rip in eco mode a little bit I think see what that's all about Actually, I'll check the camera angle real, real quick, and then I'll be back. All right, fellas, I'm back. Angled the camera down ever so slightly. Maybe you can catch a little more of the bar action. I know I like that view when I'm looking at other people's videos. Anywho, we're in eco now, which realistically is where this thing's going to live probably most of its life. Not the cow. <laughs> If I'm on tight stuff, this isn't super tight. Oh man. I'm gonna get absolutely smoked. Oh. <laughs> Come on, crawl through it, crawl through it. I don't wanna get dirty. There we go. It's kinda hard to be easy with these things. Like the tire just. Like if you ride dirt bikes, you'd know the term, but like firing the tire off, it, it you barely touch it, and it's like whip and just spins. All right, we gotta go this way. So anyway, some of you might be asking or wondering why, why would a butt hurt has to ride two stroke rider buy a damn e-bike? Well, if you follow the channel, you might have seen a little while ago that I mentioned something in the video about dealing with cops and getting in trouble and. Well, long story short, we got out of it, thankfully, because the cop didn't do his job, and, you know, whatever. He, he did a lot of things wrong, even the judge said it. But, uh, yeah, there's no legal place to ride around here, so, you know, you're kind of limited on what you can do. It's, I am getting stuck. Well, I'm already frame-banging the sprocket off of rocks. That's great. I got out of that nonsense, and I'm absolutely disgusting now, which is awesome. <laughs> anyway... Yep, so the whole legal thing, that, honestly, that's the biggest thing, is the type of riding I like to do is the, is just this, you know? You, you, there's so many trails around here that are all state-owned, so they don't really, they don't really want you on them unless you're on something like this. So it's like, the options are ride racetracks, jump. The options are ride racetracks or ride illegally. Allegedly, of course, fellas, but... Ah... <laughs> uh, so that is like the number one appealing thing for this. So now all these damn trails that are around me, because there is a plethora of hiking trails in this area, I can just go out and rip. So I don't know, just that factor alone. We are dragging something. I don't need to break a belt or do anything stupid. Oh yeah, there's a stick jammed in there. Come on now. Wow, you can't use the kickstand here, fellas. Yeah, get on out of there, thanks. I'm glad the bike was clean for a Look at this, it's wrapped around the hub. 
Unbelievable. I'll be back when I get that out. All right, fellas, so I'm back. I had to get at all the logging, muddy nonsense, but this is also a part of it, right? Look at just random cool things you can find legally-ish, you know, compared to a two-stroke. I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to beat these damn things, especially with how fast they're getting. And for, I got this one in New Hampshire, so I paid no sales tax. So it was 4,900 out the door, no assembly fee because I bought it in the box. Or, or, so I didn't have to pay anybody to do that. So 4,900. Dude, there's used ones of these bikes on Facebook around me for like 55. So for 4,900, I think I got a ripping deal. I, I just paid MSRP, no sales tax, no assembly fee. So, and no shipping. That's a big one is usually you have to pay shipping on these things if you buy it online. So I'll, uh, maybe I'll insert a picture or something of the shop here. The guy was wicked cool. He does like race car stuff too. So like, you know, my turbo case swapped Civic and all, you know, just fit in there. He was a good guy. So, uh, yeah, I recommend going to him. It was a very smooth transaction and, uh, yeah, I'll end up going back for sure. Decided this was a good spot as any to, uh, enjoy some of my breakfast sandwich pizza and a view for lunch. <laughs> Hey fellas, so I enjoyed my lunch. Shout out Walmart for making a good breakfast sandwich kind of pizza. <laughs> it's a biscuit crust with like a with like a great not real. It's like that breakfast gravy, but not I don't know. It's like a cheesy version of that. Then cheese, then egg chunks, and then sausage chunks. It's absolutely game changing. <laughs> anyway, I'm checking out this. I don't really know what any of this is, so. God, I can't wait for the foot brake kit. If I have to panic stop with this, it's not easy. What is what is all this, you know? Why is this thing out here doing this? There was just something up over there. I should check that out on the way back. Because I got a feeling we're going to be coming back this way. There was a car down there, so I wonder what this is. <laughs> These campers over here. <laughs> Dude, you can see four wheelers are going around the gate. That's funny. I don't know. We're gonna check this out, fellas, because I don't really know. It feels like a trail. Dude, there's like bathrooms and stuff. <clears throat> this is all new. I'm just gonna turn around. Let's see if anybody has anything to say. Not that I really care, but... Oh yeah! See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the stuff I want to be riding. But we legally can't on dirt bikes. You know, it's, it's supposedly been known to happen, you know. Allegedly, of course, but... To be out here... With a bunch of campers... And have nobody complaining. That alone, fellas. That's what's good about this. Tell you what, I'm gonna end up being putting some of that double-sided foam. Like it's like double-sided tape on the foam. I'm gonna do it on the frame right here where I squeeze. That's what I always said the Suron needed to. Dude, this is like pretty decent. found a way to brake better for me on descents. The way I'm holding this brake handle now. It's not ideal because I can't hold onto the bar as good, but 
that's another thing I love about riding and riding different things. It's all an experience for me. Like I have to learn how to ride literally everything. Like I obviously can't ride things the same way as everybody else. So it's always like a learning thing, which to be honest is half the fun. <laughs> Defying the odds and doing what I shouldn't be doing is very fun. Dude, where in the hell? Remember to block the sign out while editing. Yeah, I don't I don't know what this is, but we're gonna continue, brethren. This this in my opinion is what this bike is for. Stuff like this. Oh, I can't believe I didn't just hit a foot peg. I can't believe it. Dude, how the hell have I never found these trails hiking? Because I hike this area too, which is why I'm even out here. Because I kind of, coming in from the side I just did up there, I walked that plenty of times even before they logged the crap and ruined it. So I knew it would be a decent little ride for this. Because it does like a big loop back to where I got my truck parked. A little side quest. Gotta check this out. Dude, the trail goes that way too. What? Ooh. Pause! Sounds like the front brake is making noise. Oh my god. Are you seeing this? Oh damn it, it's just a lookout. That's disappointing. Alright fellas, so I got out of that. And I'm pretty much back to the campground thing now. That was complete nonsense. It got even worse too. just so you could get a like a grip of how how much crap i just did and we're still at 90 percent i've been ripping around on sport mode for most of what i was just doing in that tight stuff it's good man it's good just came across this i figured i'd check it out yes sir fun i figured i'd record too because uh if there's any uh, game warden kind of things, they're going to be over here, so we'll see if they say anything about this. Because, you know, I'm going to allegedly stop, of course. <laughs> well, there was no fresh tire marks in that mud back there, so I'm going to assume we're pretty good. Let's see, we're doing 30. I wonder if it'll power wheelie over this. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! And I just J-hopped it off the top of that like a BMX bike, that's sick. <laughs> this thing, this thing's pretty good. You know, assuming it holds up, it should be pretty awesome. I'm pretty impressed so far, I'll give it that. 
Like just wheelies, dude. We're doing 30. Unbelievable. That's all I can say. Unbelievable. What do we got? What do we got? Did I die now? <laughs> it's burning out and wheeling. I gotta say, at this speed, it's down. The engine braking, quote unquote, the regen is is nice. I, I really don't even need to use brakes. And I should probably go nut and bolt check this before I go out with a friend because. You know, obvious reasons, it's a brand new bike, so. And here's the beauty, you just hop on the road and you're out. And nobody hears you. <laughs> All right, fellas, it's gonna wrap it up for today's video and first ride. I do gotta say, I, I really like this bike. Again, I've ridden Surons and stuff, and I, you know, assuming this thing holds up, I believe this is the way better purchase. You know, you're spending only a couple hundred dollars more to get 72 volt where if you were to do that to a Suron, that's like three grand. So I don't know, man, for the money, again, assuming it holds up, this thing is an absolute beast. And there's going to be a whole, whole lot of content with this thing, you know, as well as the two stroke dirt bike nonsense as well. <laughs> the occasional race car stuff. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time. Always explicit, it doesn't matter who's listening, it doesn't matter who's dissing. Cause at the end of the day, my state of mind is always sunny like in WA. Oh, by the way, aren't you the guy with the Burger King rap? Yeah, that's me. Four point five million. Just try to hate on that you can't cause you can't rap like that, you can't cause you can't snap like that, you can't cause you can't.